Hello everyone. Today we are going to be unboxing this little gem and show you what's inside. Now this box here was sent to me from Grabby. So Grabby is a online store that has a whole bucket load of art supplies and I'm so excited that they so kindly sent me this. So here we go. We have got the Brit Funa and it is 120 set of watercolour pencils and I've been really really excited to test these out. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So let's have a look here. Alright, so they come in this handy little carry case. Let's put that green back where it's meant to be, I think. There we go. And it's there we go. All layered in little trays. So it makes it easy to take them in and out and um, colour with them which is fantastic and they will store away easily and obviously you can then carry them upright as well. So let's have a look. So we're going to go and test these out on a um, picture today and see how well they hold up and um, I'll let you know what I think about them at the end. Now this little card here from Grabby has a little colouring in page on the back and if you want to see how I do the lettering you can wait until the end and I will show you a little time lapse or you can head on over onto my Instagram and I will show you the full real time colouring or doing ombre lettering. Now this set actually comes with a um, 120 sort of brood front funa color list as well so you can swatch all your pencils and then you have them all ready to go now one of the first things i'm going to do is i've, so I've picked out the teal so i'm going to use those on so lighter teal and a darker teal and i'm going to use that on the center little bauble here so this is in johanna's christmas and it's actually just the inside cover because i thought with watercolor it'll be nice and thick it's like a cardboard so it's going to hold up with the water much better than one of the pages will do so i thought that would make it a, a good test good tester page so i'm going to just use this light teal on the whole sort of background if you want of this or main part of this bauble and then i'm going to go darker in around the edges and stuff so we'll see how this goes now my first impression is that these are definitely a little bit harder core so it takes a little bit to get a good amount of pigment out we'll see they probably wouldn't go too much darker when I activate with water but we'll see we might be able to then do some layering afterwards so to let it dry in between and add some more color on top and build it up a little bit more so we'll see how we're going to do it
now all right so these little metallic ones I'm not overly impressed with they're hard to put down and the color is not really all that good considering it's meant to be gold but you know what you can get proper watercolor metallic gold and it's not that hard to make gold color just like I did on the with the yellow the um, black and the the browns um, on, on the little top so you know what I'm not that fast that one pencil isn't working all that well pencil is definitely laying down really beautifully pigmented I'm excited to see how this is going to look when I activate it with water it's really nice I don't have to press hard to lay the pigment down and it is working really well
As I mentioned earlier you can definitely lay down more layers afterwards so we're just going to add in just a little bit more I'm not going to activate this with water I'm just going to leave it on as it is I'm actually finding that it's going on easier after I've got a coating underneath already so that's great it means we can build up some shading and um, make some more depth into a uh, little coloring so that is fantastic so Overall, I'm actually really, really impressed with these pencils. They are budget friendly. You're getting like 120 pencils for not a huge outlay of money, especially when you compare it to something like Albrecht Dura by Faber Castell, which is amazing, but they do hurt your hip pocket. So if you're on a budget and you want a good pencil, good watercolor pencil, these are definitely the way to go. Now when I do ombre lettering, I tend to start down the bottom of the letters, that's where I'm going to put my colour and I'm just going to use my water brush to then pull just a tiny bit of the top pigment upwards towards the top of the letters. So it's actually really really easy, so you can have a look, see how I do, I'm going to do all the colouring first and then I'm going to go over with my water brush. Now the advantage with this little page is that it's on cardstock so I can go in afterwards and I can add in more layers with the watercolour, I can either choose to add more water or I can just layer it with just dry just using the pencils and it's going to get a really nice result.
And there we go, we are pretty much finished. I just wanted to take this last little moment and say thank you again to Grabby for sending me this amazing set of watercolour pencils. I'm absolutely in love with them. If you head on over to the link in the description box below and add in the code MARIT15, you will get 15% off your next purchase with Grabby. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you again next time.